so with that, we send it down and say a very warm welcome to our very own Damon Hackdy. I know you had a chance to catch up with our defending champion. What did you learn? Yes, Anna, it's been an eventful year since John Rahm won the 87th Masters by four shots over Phil Mickelson and Brooks Kepka. As you mentioned in December, a change of heart. He left the PGA Tour for Live Golf. He also announced recently his wife Kelly is expecting the couple's third child. When I spoke to him, I asked him, what has life been like in the last year since you won the Masters? Yeah, well, that's been, that's been, uh, whew. It's funny because for a while after the Masters, my golf game was not at the level that I would have liked it to be. Uh, and then, uh, well, we had a great Ryder Cup, I had a great end of the season, and then obviously the the chance to live, right? So um, I can't tell you, I can't stand here and tell you that I saw all this happening because I didn't. Um, but it's uh, it's been something special for sure. You know, it's been a lot of fun to be a part of this journey, and uh, I'm really hoping. Uh, is going to be a, a change for the better. You know, it's uh, it's a very new product that I understand the skepticism a lot of people have, but I think uh, if the governing bodies can get together, we can end up with something wonderful for all of us. Last year, you won three times ahead of the Masters. You played a lot of golf. This year, you have 15 tournament rounds under your belt. What is the state of your game ahead of the first major of the year? <laughs> it's funny. I know I won three times, but match play, and, and I think it was Bay Hill, I played so bad both those tournaments before, besides the first round of Bay Hill that I came here and I was like, I'm not going to lie, like I don't have the confidence level maybe should have after winning three times because I hadn't played that great, right? Uh, but obviously, uh, a lot of times you're not really too far off and found my game and besides the first hole, the rest of the tournament was something so enjoyable to, to play as good as I did. Um, this year, if anything, is closer to maybe the US Open win where I didn't enjoy, uh, I didn't enjoy the the winning side of things, right? I haven't been able to win, but I've been consistently playing really good golf, right? So uh, there's the comparison to those two. You need so much clarity to perform well around here. You've talked about missing some venues, missing some of the guys. How would you describe your peace of mind, your state of mind ahead of the Masters? Well, when you make a very well and thought out decision, you should be at peace. And that's the way I feel about it, right? There was nothing that was rushed or just quick about the whole process. Uh, I keep saying it wasn't easy because it wasn't easy. There was a lot of hard choices to make and a lot of uh, evaluating to do. But at the end of the day, I made my choice and I wanted to do it that way. So when that choice was made, I never had to look back, right? It's been wonder wonderful to be back. I wondered about the reaction from some people, but everybody has been, has been great. The crowd has been great. Most of the players have been great. The ones I've, at least I've dealt with have been amazing. So, uh, you know, it's wonderful to see that those friendships haven't haven't suffered because uh, despite what you might see on the golf course, right, I, as I say all the time, I'm very different off and uh, I really care about people and, and I never want to do anything that's going to damage those relationships. In years past, John Rahm would have played north of 25 rounds of tournament golf ahead of the Masters. This year, only 15 rounds of tournament golf on the Live Tour. He says he feels a sense of freshness. Time will tell if freshness equals sharpness.